Hey y'all. You know who I am. If you're new here, I am Callie, and this is the Rowell Fam. Welcome back. Hey y'all, I'm Callie, and this is my husband Ashton. We met in a classic whirlwind, boy meets girl romance. It didn't take us very long to know we wanted to get married. So, after one and a half years of laughter and smiles, Ashton proposed. We decided to get married shortly after and got married in March of 2019. Knowing we wanted a family, we did not hesitate. And that is when we adopted our fur baby, Dami. A human baby proved to be a little more difficult than we thought. We are the Rowell fam, and this is our TTC journey. You see that? You see that? See that? You see that? <laughs> yes. So, yes, we do have car seats put in. Um, one is toddler, one is infant, because we could have a two-year-old, we could have a newborn, you never know with foster care the age of the children you're going to get. Um, our paperwork was sent into the state on Friday. I just got, um, I got a double confirmation of that on Friday. And we, um, yeah, we were informed about that. So any time any day um, we could get the call saying, hey, um, you are licensed. Um, I'm not necessarily thinking we're going to be getting a call right away. Um, my friend um, is um, she is also a licensed foster parent in our county and she she's been getting calls but no placements and even the calls aren't very frequent or often so um because she she like blows up my phone every time she gets a call for a placement um not necessarily telling me anything about the placement because you can't really do that yet um Really, all you can do, you can't share, like, their personal stuff, but you can share, like, gender and age. And um, So, she's gotten calls, but she hasn't gotten placements. And we're, we're actually duking it out for the same age range. So, that'll be fun. That'll be fun. No. <laughs> um, so, she actually came over last night. And helped me install that um, toddler seat because the infant seat, I was able to get in um, Sunday easy. No problem. But the toddler seat was a pain in my butt. And uh, I think the way I said it, I texted it to her, was I used the peach emoji. <laughs> Um, so, regardless, it was a pain in my butt. But, lucky, we've got our two car seats in, and now we're just waiting to use them. <laughs> just waiting to use them now, because you kind of got to have the children to be able to use them. So, um, the really cool thing about having a friend that's a licensed foster parent who works with the same social work or social worker yeah um 
is that if they get a sibling group and they have siblings that are within our age range um, for our licenses, we could potentially get one sibling, she could get the other. And the good thing about that bad situation would be that those siblings would be able to have more time together than if they were in other foster homes where they may not be able to see each other as often. And there have been studies that show that there are so many benefits to keeping um, siblings together when in foster care. And that would help make the best out of a really difficult situation for those kiddos. So um, our licensing worker has also actually told us that she would, if that, if they got a call for a sibling group, she'd have them call and rush our, um, have the state rush our licensing so that I could get our licensing. I'm not sure if she wanted me to say her name, so I might bleep that. Um, I don't even know. I don't even know if I know how to do that. <laughs> I think I do. I think I do. Um, that's, that'll be some fun editing right there. But, um, anyways, so we are super excited. We're super stoked. And we hope y'all have a great day. And we'll see you later. If you haven't already, subscribe, click on the notification bell, give us a thumbs up, and leave a comment down below. Bye!